Hey everybody, welcome back to Stylist Meets Vinyl. My name is Chris. Today I'm going to do a quick video for a uh, submission to JC's contest over at the flip side with JC, Vinyl Community with JC. Uh, JC just had 3,000 subs. He has a contest going to kind of celebrate that. Uh, it's going to run until the end of March. He's going to do a draw for names for anyone who has submitted a video. Um, the the, uh, the prize is $50 Amazon gift card and, or a $50 uh, PayPal, whatever you choose. Um, now, JC has a really cool, um, really cool channel, really cool contest here that he's that he's created. He wants us to show three albums, one from the 70s, one from the 80s, one from the 90s, and then also give a shout out to another channel in the vinyl community, which is my favorite part of this contest because that's what this is all about, you know, is just um, sharing our stories and sharing our records with other people and other channels and um, just talking about records with other people. And so um, if if I can do anything to get some eyes on some other channels that I enjoy, then I'm, I'm all for that. So... Um, the channel that I want to talk about is uh, the Vinylverse, Bill over at the Vinylverse. Um, Bill is like a prog master. He's got a ton of prog albums and he's, he, I've seen a lot of his videos where he, he shows just cool prog albums that I've never even heard of before. And I love prog, um, but I've got kind of like the, the well-known prog albums. He's got a lot of ones that maybe you've never heard of before that are definitely worth checking out. Um, and Bill specifically, he gave me a shout out in the very early infancy of my channel. Um, I was only a few weeks old and I'd only released three or four videos and he gave me a really nice shout out in his vinyl tag. So um, I hope that uh, this is some kind of repaying the favor for Bill and will bring some traffic over to him. So please go check his channel out. Um, now for, I'll get into the records here. Um, I've chosen three records as the contest uh, uh, decrees and um, one from the 70s, one from the 80s, one from the 90s. So for the 70s, the album is History of Eric Clapton. Uh, this is from 1972. Um, this is, uh, I know that Clapton has received a lot of flack lately for the whole incident with the woman bootlegging and uh, he, there was a lawsuit involved. And I think uh, now that the smoke is cleared, it was mostly his uh, record record production company that was um, really, really driving that lawsuit, but I think it has been dropped and um, I don't think the woman had to pay her legal fees. But <clears throat> at any rate, this is a great album. This is a best of, obviously. Um, this is from, as I said, 1972. So uh, anything up to 1972 with Clapton, um, you've got a lot of the essentials on here like Yardbirds, uh, The Blues Breakers, Cream, Eric Clapton and the Powerhouse, Blind Faith, Delaney and Bonnie and Friends, King Curtis, Solo Eric Clapton, and then Derek and the Dominoes as well. And um, I chose this album specifically because when I was a kid and we had our um, turntable set up, my parents had their set up, I have memories of my dad, both my mom and my dad were um, Eric Clapton fans, or are Eric Clapton fans, and I remember my dad playing uh, Dropping the Needle on um, Layla by Derek and the Dominoes, and um, the end portion with the piano where they um, uh, it, it turns a bit slow. I, I have this memory of my parents like slow dancing in our living room, and um, it's one of my first memories of vinyl, and uh, it's it's kind of a cherished memory for me. So that's why I wanted to show this album here. Okay, next up is from 1981. This is Billy Squire. This is Don't Say No. Um, this, so this is another album that I chose because I have a memory associated with it. And um, it's kind of funny, but uh, from the movie uh, Billy Madison in uh, 1995, when Billy goes back to high school and he he pulls in on his first day and he's got his REO Speedwagon shirt and his jean jacket and he's got the song The Stroke by Billy Squire and it's cranked up and he pulls up and he sits on his on the hood of his car thinking that he's going to be the coolest guy around and everyone's kind of giving him side eye and giving him weird looks and so um, that was I think the first time that I heard this song and uh, the song The Stroke and I fell in love with it. My high school years The, the Stroke was like my favorite song. I would play it all the time but um, there's a lot of good tracks on this album. 
Um, the Stroke, as I mentioned, My Kind of Lover, uh, Two Days Gone, Lonely as the Night, Don't Say No, uh, along with a bunch of other good ones on here. Um, and this is this album is kind of like a bridge. Obviously, it's like early 80s, so it's a bridge between like what you've heard in the 70s and what you're kind of going to start to hear more in the 80s, where um, some good guitar licks on here, but then also um, a little bit of synth, too. You're going to hear that sort of 80s synth sound. So um, this is a good one from Billy Squire, 19. 1981 and my album from the 90s is okay computer radiohead this is i believe 1997 um this was uh you know straight out of my youth this was a massive album um right around the time where um okay computer was starting to change their sound a little bit the one before this was ben's which was a lot more um like alternative rock um just like straight up rock album and this we're getting a little bit electronic and a little bit more proggy and then um the one after this would be um kid a and that would be a real uh total like change in sound for them. So um, this is this is a fantastic album start to finish. The huge one on here is Paranoid Android. We've also got like, I, I, this is another one that I can just name the whole track listing and, and they're all great. Um, Airbag, Subterranean, Homesick, Alien, Karma Police, Electioneering, Climbing Up the Walls, No Surprises, uh, the list goes on. So this is a fantastic album from Radiohead from the 90s. And uh, that's it. That's it for my contest entry. So guys, um, if you like any of the any of the records that I showed here or any of the stories that I told, because I do like to tell some stories on this channel, please subscribe, please like, hit the bell notification so you can um, always be notified when I upload a new video. And um, go check out the two channels I mentioned, JC, uh, The Flip Side, Vinyl Community with JC, and uh, The Vinyl Verse, Bill over at The Vinyl Verse. Thank you guys so much. Please um, come back and check out a couple more videos of mine. Um, I'd love to have you guys. So uh, thanks so much for watching and um, take care, everyone.